I'm not only a professional scythe mower, I've been hosting a lot of scythe courses for the last 15 years. I have seen a lot of people get skilled really fast, but I've also seen some mistakes being repeated over and over again. Both beginners and people who have done it for a long time, but perhaps haven't been taught how to do it properly. Maybe you are doing them too. Don't worry, I am here to help. The first step to improvement is to recognize your mistakes, right? So here are six common mistakes I see people do. Make sure you watch until the end, where I give some tips on how to fix them. Swinging the scythe up too high. This is a very common mistake for those who haven't been taught the right technique from the beginning. What happens is that you end up chopping the grass, missing the start of the stroke and getting a slope when cutting taller grass. It makes it harder to see the line between the rows and will create much more work for the person who comes next, which is probably you. Lifting the tip at the end. This means that you are not cutting the grass all the way through the stroke. So in combination with the first mistake, you are now completing the half pipe in taller grass. It might not be immediately obvious, because the last bit of grass is easily covered by the pile of cut grass. But you will notice it when you start raking. The tip of the blade should be down to the ground at the end of the stroke, and the ring is the part that should be lifted. Being too tense and stiff. This usually goes along with getting stuck in too much of a rotation with your arms close to your body, not dragging the blade sideways, like this. This is a very tiring way to mow, and the results won't be the best. There is nothing wrong with mowing more narrow rows, but make sure that you are still relaxed and using the proper technique. forgetting to walk. There are a lot of things to think about when scything, so you are bound to forget some of them. With this common mistake, you start leaning over more and more to reach the grass, until you have to take a giant step forward to keep from falling over. Your strength is in your legs and core, so that's what you should be using. Leaning forward and only using the strength of your arms will make it a lot more strenuous and painful. You might feel it in your back, in your shoulders, in your neck, and that's not good. So please, don't forget to walk. Biting off more than you can chew. At the other end of the spectrum is taking steps that are too big. The length of your steps determines the amount of grass you are cutting. So steps that are too big means too much grass to cut. Catching too much grass with each stroke makes scything a lot harder than it needs to be, and you might even get stuck. You might also skip some parts when you're mowing too fast and get these ridges in your grass. Not ideal. Yeah. Yeah. Vet man en slipsten ska dras. Mowing a quarter of a circle. This can occur because your position is too far to the left in your row. Or if you are not pulling back the left elbow at the end of the stroke. This is a problem because you will only be working on your right hand side and not using your full capacity. And with your arms too far out, you lose strength, steering, ground pressure, and ability to drop down the tip. So, make sure you're not too far left, and aim for the shape of the new moon in front of you. Can you relate to any of these? Let me know in the comments below which mistake you might be doing, and we can all try to help each other out. 
And if you have a friend that could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them too. If you don't think you are doing any of these mistakes, I would recommend you to film yourself scything, just to make sure. It can be a real eye-opener. Of course, some things just need time and practice. But here are some ways to fix these mistakes. Use a straight line as a guide and practice your stroke to find where to start and end your stroke. You can draw a line in gravel or use something like a measuring stick. The tip of the blade should start and end at the line on either side of you. Loosen up your grip throughout the stroke, especially when pulling back the scythe. That way you can't lift the scythe too high or use too much force. So you have to keep it on the ground and catch less grass. Remember to keep walking. A tiny step forward with each stroke will keep you from falling over or biting off more than you can chew. And last but not least, practice the basic movements of scything to improve your foundational skills. I have a video where I go through them all, step by step, that will help you avoid these common mistakes. So, good luck! Practice this base of scything will help. Practice the basics. <laughs> this usually goes along <laughs> with your arms too close to your body and if you don't think you're doing any of these mistakes, please film yourself. <laughs> I would recommend that you... Oh, is that? <laughs> huh?